Hey fellas, old Rusty coming at you. Hey, I've been doing a lot of comparing case to other knives, uh, other companies, and I'm just doing that to make sure they stay in business. What? How so, Rusty? When you compare other knives that are cheaper and just as good. Well, guys, I'm doing that because we need to make sure that they're getting it done right. So, I bought this knife on June 20. Well, I got it delivered on June 20th. I bought, paid $44 and $45 off of Sh Shepherd Hills as a um, special. So it was on sale. I think regular $55, $60. Anyway, it's in a Deep Canyon Hunter Green is this. And it's got this nice bone. And the bone has some nice marbling. But I'm a little bit disappointed right there when it comes to... The die job a little bit disappointed we got a good spring here go check out the video on this and we have a lazy spring here yeah and it's so lazy when I push it like that all right so let's compare well also in the spring of 2024 I picked up a boker uh, a cap lifter jack, razor jack. And they came in orange bone, green bone, and or purple bone. I got a purple trapper. And this is my boker. It says made in Germany on the box. And I'll talk about that in a, in a second. Uh, let's see if we can get... So there's your shield. It has nice smooth transitions, good finish on this, and my opinion, it beats the dry, dry die job on my case to smithereens. Although the case jigging is very unique, and this side is not horrible, but you guys can make up your own mind. On who did a better die job don't worry about the jigging this the overall die and I know because of this the way they form it uh, it's going to change the way the coloring looks so we're looking at this at forty four forty five dollars versus twenty two fifty got it on sale on special I don't remember I think they wanted 30 to start with so well let's take a peek cap lifter it's got a lot of drag you'll have to go and check out the video on this but this particular one oh, so nice right there and nice right there and nice right there that sucker I wish I actually other than and it's got some grip feeling I wish my knives had this this action across the board. All right, now this one has a half stop. Um, let's go into this. A lazy snap, maybe a four on the pull, and nothing. Okay, but guess what? I mean, it's, I did clean this up, mucho gracias, mucho, <laughs> and uh, including WD-40, good spray there. And it's slightly, slightly improving, but I think it could be in the tang grind because nothing there, no snap, but when we get down... If you get any kind of a spring, that was a decent spring. I think you got a, a, a decent, what we call snap. I think you got a decent spring, but it's simple. The blade ting is not, bam, ground to be flat to kick that out. But anyways, the blade edge on this was a little crappy, but it's very thin, very slicey. And we're going to keep these short. Uh, let's see here. I do like that. That's 
that's actually all right too when I, this has a better this blade is better than my cap lifter on the boker um, and a lot of my case mini trappers i'm very very happy with so anyways 2250 45 bucks you guys weigh in if you like which one it's a better deal made in germany oh i mentioned i want to talk about that a lot of people are saying boker has china make the parts and then they assemble them and do it just enough so to get a made in germany uh designation uh, these are made in usa and uh have a great reputation and sometimes they live up to it sometimes they don't 